Okay, I need to settle this debate once and for all. Commercial feed versus custom mix. Everyone has an opinion, right? The commercial feed people say it's tested, it's reliable, it's easy. The custom mix people say it's cheaper and your cattle gain faster. So who's right? Well, I spent the last six months running an actual experiment. Same breed of cattle, Charolais bulls, split into two groups. One group got commercial feed, the other got my custom mix. Same conditions, same everything else. And after 180 days, I calculated everything. The weight gained, the cost per kilogram, the total profit. And the results? One option made me almost double the profit. The other one was basically a waste of money. And I'm gonna show you every single number right now. Let me start by showing you exactly what I fed each group, because this is where most ranches make their first mistake. They compare apples to oranges and then wonder why their numbers don't make sense. Group one, the commercial feed group. I used a standard 16% protein cattle finisher, the kind you can buy at any feed store, pre-mixed, bagged, ready to go. Each bull got four kilograms per day, plus free access to hay. Simple, easy, no thinking required. Group two, my custom mix. Here's the formula. Cracked corn, 45%, soybean meal, 20%, wheat middlings, 15%, molasses, 10%, minerals and vitamins, 5%, cottonseed meal, 5%, and the rest was a blend of trace elements and a binder to keep everything together. Now, before you think custom mixing is too complicated, stay with me because the numbers I'm about to show you will change how you think about feeding costs forever. Each bull in the commercial feed group consumed approximately four kilograms daily. Over 180 days, that's 720 kilograms per animal. The cost per kilogram of that commercial feed was, on average, $0.58. Do the math and you're looking at $417.60 per bull just in feed costs. But here's where it gets interesting. The custom mix bulls also consumed about four kilograms daily, same total volume, but the cost per kilogram of my custom mix, buying ingredients in bulk from local suppliers, was only $0.32 per kilogram. That's $417 versus $230 per bull. You're already saving $187 per animal, and we haven't even talked about weight gain yet. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Now I know what you're thinking. Cheaper feed probably means slower gains, right? That's what the commercial feed companies want you to believe. But here's what actually happened. The commercial feed group gained an average of 1.1 kilograms per day. Good, solid gains, nothing wrong with that. Over 180 days, each bull put on 198 kilograms. Starting weight was 300 kilograms, final weight, 498 kilograms. The custom mix group, they gained an average of 1.3 kilograms per day. Yes, you heard that right, faster gains on cheaper feed. Over the same 180 days, each bull put on 234 kilograms. Starting weight, 300 kilograms. Final weight, 534 kilograms. That's an extra 36 kilograms of marketable beef per animal. And this is where the profit gap becomes absolutely massive. If you're realizing right now that you might be losing money every single day with your current feeding program, drop a comment below and tell me which feed you're using. I read every single comment and I want to know if this is hitting home for you because what I'm about to show you next is even more shocking. Let's talk about total cost per kilogram of gain because this is the metric that separates profitable ranchers from broke ranchers and almost nobody calculates this correctly. For the commercial feed group, I spent $417.60 in feed to gain 198 kilograms. That's $2.11 per kilogram of weight gained. For the custom mix group, I spent $230.40 in feed to gain 234 kilograms. That's only 98 cents per kilogram of weight gained. Let me say that again. $2.11 versus 98 cents. The custom mix was less than half the cost per kilogram of gain. Now let's calculate profit. In my market, finished cattle sell for approximately $4.20 per kilogram live weight. Your market might be different, but the principle stays the same. Commercial feed group, 198 kilograms gained, 
times $4.20 equals $831.60 in revenue per bull, minus the feed cost of $417.60, that's a gross profit of $414 per animal. Not bad, right? Custom Mix Group, 234 kilograms gained, times $4.20 equals $982.80 in revenue per bull, minus the feed cost of $230.40, that's a gross profit of $752.40 per animal. $414 versus $752. The custom mix made me an extra $338 per bull. On a herd of just 20 animals, that's an extra $6,760 in my pocket. Same time, same work, just smarter feeding. But here's what almost nobody talks about, and this is the part that could save your entire operation from going under. The hidden costs. With commercial feed, yes, it's convenient. You call the supplier, they deliver, you dump it in the feeder, easy. But you're paying for that convenience. You're paying for their marketing, their packaging, their profit margin, their distributor's profit margin, and the feed store's markup. By the time that bag reaches your ranch, you've paid four or five middlemen. With a custom mix, you're buying direct from grain elevators, mills, and commodity suppliers. You cut out every single middleman. Yes, you need a mixer. Yes, you need storage space. Yes, you need to spend two hours once a week mixing feed. But is two hours of your time worth $338 per bull? You do the math. Now, let me address the biggest objection I hear. What about nutritional consistency? What about quality control? What if I mess up the mix and harm my cattle? Here's the truth. If you follow a tested formula, measure accurately, and source quality ingredients, your custom mix will be just as consistent as commercial feed, maybe even more consistent because you control everything. You see the corn, you smell the soybean meal, you know exactly what's going into your cattle. Commercial feed? You're trusting that the manufacturer didn't cut corners. You're trusting that the bag sitting in the warehouse for six months didn't lose its vitamin potency. You're trusting a system you can't see or control. I'm not saying commercial feed is bad. For small operations, for beginners, for people who don't have storage or mixing equipment, it absolutely has a place. But if you're serious about profit, if you're running 30, 50, 100 head or more, you're leaving massive amounts of money on the table every single year by not exploring custom mixing. Let me tell you about the three biggest mistakes ranchers make when they try to switch to custom mixes, because if you avoid these, you'll succeed where most people fail. Mistake number one changing the formula every week. You hear about a new ingredient, you throw it in. Your neighbor says he uses barley instead of corn, so you switch. Your cattle's digestive system can't adapt that fast. Pick a proven formula, stick with it for at least 90 days, and measure results. Consistency wins. Mistake number two, buying cheap, low-quality ingredients to save even more money. This backfires every time. Moldy corn, rancid soybean meal, contaminated minerals. You'll lose more in sick cattle and poor gains than you'll ever save on ingredient costs. Buy quality, always. Mistake number three, not keeping detailed records. If you don't write down what you fed, how much it cost, and what the gains were, you're just guessing. Guessing is expensive. Data is profit. So here's what I recommend if you're ready to make the switch. Start small. Take five or 10 head. Run your own trial. Keep feeding your main herd the commercial feed while you test. Track everything. Weight, cost, health, behavior. After 90 days, compare the numbers. Let the data decide. If the custom mix works for you like it worked for me, scale up. If it doesn't, at least you know and you only risk a small portion of your herd. And one more thing, the formula I shared earlier, that's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Your climate, your cattle breed, your forage quality, your goals, they all matter. Work with a livestock nutritionist to dial in a formula specific to your operation. 
Yes, it costs a few hundred dollars up front, but when you're making an extra $338 per head, that consultation pays for itself with your first three animals. Listen, I created this channel, Biggest Bulls and Cow, for one reason, to help ranchers like you make more money, raise healthier cattle, and stop falling for expensive marketing gimmicks. Every video I make is based on real experiments, real data, and real results from my own ranch. If this video just saved you thousands of dollars, or if it opened your eyes to a better way of feeding, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right now. Join this community of ranchers who are tired of guessing and ready to start winning. Drop a comment below and tell me, are you feeding commercial, custom, or a mix of both? What's working for you? What's not? Let's learn from each other, because the best ranchers never stop learning. And if you know another cattle producer who's struggling with feed costs, share this video with them. Let's lift each other up. Let's build profitable, sustainable ranching operations together. I'll see you in the next video, where I'm breaking down the truth about mineral supplementation and why most ranchers are wasting 50% of their mineral budget. You're not going to want to miss that one. Until then, keep those cattle healthy, keep those profits growing, and remember, smart ranchers don't work harder, they work smarter.